Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the vanilla Pooping Evolved server for you guys here today. Hope you guys are having a good one today. I'm having a good one as always. And uh, today we are going to be doing some cool stuff. Um, you know, last episode we got that Carnotaurus and you can see that I've actually painted that Carnotaurus. I went with the name Cap on him. And so I gave him a pretty cool little paint job here. It kind of looks a little bit like Captain America. You know, it was the best I could do uh, for freehand, but, you know, what you going to do? He, he's he's excited. He likes it. He's happy. Uh, we also got a couple of scorpions, uh, which are over here. Uh, I have not done anything with them yet. And then there's also Beast, who I have not done anything with yet. But uh, this episode, we have got Iron Man. And Iron Man was leveled up quite a bit last episode. And uh, just, you know, from going around the island, killing stuff, taming stuff, whatnot. And uh, I thought that I would go ahead and, uh, you know, paint this guy up and take him out again today. And the reason that I want to take him out here again today is because of the fact that he kind of needs, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't exactly know. Uh, I wanted to take him out so I could get uh, some more trophies. You can see that I've got these three artifacts, if you will, not even trophies, artifacts. And uh, I really, really need to take them out and uh, get get some more. So let's go ahead and let's turn this guy ever so slightly. So I'm kind of thinking we start with a nice base orange. Um, I think the base orange will do really well. I could have done like a copper or something, I guess. But uh, the orange really does look like the color of choice in my humble opinion. So let's go ahead and paint this guy. Paint his head and everything. Paint as much as we can. And there we go. There we go. Good. Very nice. Okay. And paint all of the wing. Can I get away with one brush? I sure can't. All right. Well, here's brush number two. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go out and get some more artifacts because I have a plan for a project that I want to start working on. Um, that, uh, is, is going to be really cool, I think, but, uh, you know, I'm going to need all of the artifacts to do that. And when I say all of the artifacts, I mean all of the artifacts. Um, I want to get each and every one of them, even the ones in the, in the snow cave that I, I technically, um, I'm going to need to get some help to get with. Uh, I know we got the one in the swamp cave, little to no issues whatsoever. Uh, but I want to go ahead and make sure that you know I can uh, get all of them. So let's see. Any any more paint? Yeah, a little bit more in here. A little bit more in there. Very nice. Okay, so we have this orange base coat. Okay, we're we're doing good. Now we're gonna switch to red, and I'm kind of thinking that the the good majority of him is gonna be red. So kind of thinking like the main. Of the arms, the mane of his feet, the mane of his body. You know, that's going to be red. And then just kind of paint that in there. And then if I get his head here, I think I am going to paint maybe this fin. And maybe this fin as well. Let's turn him around. Uh, why can't I? Oh, you can't actually paint the fin. Okay. Uh, well, we'll just paint the top of his top beak here. Shouldn't be a problem. We're good. We're good. All right. And then back around this side. And then we'll just have to paint all the way down like that. Okay. So now I think I just want to throw on just a little bit of red along the edge here kind of bring it down like that kind of do the same thing over here little bit of an edge around here okay now close okay he looks pretty good now I need to finish painting the underside of his arms and I need to paint this saddle so I'm gonna finish that up and I'll be right back 
All right, guys, I've got Iron Man all nicely painted up, and we are going to head over to the first cave, and we are going to head over to the Carno Island cave and tackle that one. So the three artifacts that I have right now are the Immune, the Hunter, and the Clever, uh, or Cleaver. I think it's Clever, though. Uh, and so, you know, those are going to be pretty, pretty good starts. Um, I think I'm still going to try and hit all the caves. That way I can have a couple of the artifacts. Uh, because the idea I have in my head is for this huge tower, and uh, that's what we're going to work on in the next coming episodes. But, you know, for now, we're going to head over here to this island and get inside and see about taking it on. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but I heard that you can get a bird through the cave. I don't know if this is true. I have never tried it myself, so this is going to be a uh, a bet for us all. Is this still that level 20 Quetzal from last episode? It is still just hanging around. I've never seen Quetzals quite that far out. Um, but yeah, here we go. We should... Let's see. T-Rex is over there. I was just looking to see if there was a maybe a spare alpha, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's slow down. And here we go, inside the cave. Just like so. We can come down to here. And then from this point on, I do believe I need to get off. We're going to whistle follow. And we're going to come straight down here. I've done this cave last season, but it's been a while since I've done it again. Okay, now is he going to make it through? I can't tell. Oh, did he make it? He did! Awesome! Alright. Very nice. So now... Oh, I'm stuck in a corner. <laughs> Alright, we killed that guy. So now we can take on this cave. And with a flyer, this cave I think is going to be chop liver. Because we just basically got to go straight down and uh, take out all of the the bats. So I might go ahead, try and pull them all. Holy mackerel, that's a lot of bats. This might be a huge disaster. All right, all right, might be a huge disaster, but I think I got it. All right, that was one onk. Let's bring him back over here. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. Oh, man! This is incredible! Oh, yes. My my guy is hardly taking any damage whatsoever. Oh, look at that. Just fill the screen. That is too cool. Too cool. All right, just a few left here. Let's go ahead and slow down. Slow down a little bit here, and uh, we'll have to get our stamina back here real quick. All right, I'm going to come up here onto this ledge and just get my stamina back here for a hot second. All right. They're good. They're good. All right, up, up, and away. Oh, did I miss him? I missed him. Man, oh man. That was one taken care of. Oh, that was a 120. Oh man. All right, here we go. So we got some Aranios right here. We got Pulmonoscorpius all around this part. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Very easily, very easily. Okay, oh, and we even got a level. How cool is that? Um, let's go ahead and bump our health here a little bit. And I'm going to heal up here. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I have a macro that I use on the modded server. Uh, I set it up for when I have to heal those big dinos, and I've just been using it a little bit over here. But there we go. We have the artifact of the Devourer. 
just wrote that down on my little sheet of paper and uh, we're gonna go ahead and head on up because I don't think there's any drops in here and since there's no drops I think we're just gonna head on up and out and uh, see about hitting the next cave all right guys so the second cave we're gonna hit today is over by BTC's place and as far as I know BTC's got this cave handled if you will um, I'm pretty sure he's got it taken care of, but we should, should, oh, the lockup that I get every time. I used to, uh, the last, not the last map, but the first time I ever played on this map, I actually lived in that, uh, that little, um, enclave almost, if you will, that, uh, oh, I'm going to run out of stamina. Lived in that little enclave in the beginning there, uh, right outside and I walled it off and I made that my, my very first base in Ark Survival Evolved, uh, back on the server that I had personally started called the Iron Mine server. And it uh, looks like these this guy has uh, built all kinds of goodness, but I used to run this cave all the time, run through here like none other, and I should be able to even get in here all the way to the back and uh, have little to no problems unless there's a few onk around that like to cause problems. And it looks like there are. There we go. No problem, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, get this guy, come here. Stupid little onk. Level 12, level eight. Okay. Grab the massive. All right. Let's go ahead and write that down. Massive. Okay. Very nice. All right. What is this up here? I never remember what's up here. I don't think there's much of anything up here. I thought there used to be a couple of loot drops, but I don't know if maybe he's got those severed off a little bit or or not. But uh, I don't I don't think that there's too much left up here because I think you just come right up out here yeah just like I thought and then you're outside the cave in another direction but all right so that's two caves down uh, we have I think six more to go uh, well no maybe maybe three more to go I'm not I'm not really sure um, oh wait I took a wrong turn uh, I need a gamma up. Gamma four. All right, where am I? <laughs> I, uh, I'm i feeling a little turned around here. Um, oh, yeah, right up here. And out we go. Okay, there we go. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Yeah, that was my first base was right here in this area. Uh, very first, if you go back to the very first ARC episodes I put out, it was right in that area. But, uh, all right, so the next cave is where I had my Season 2 base. And we'll go check that out here in just a hot second. All right, guys, cave number three for the day is where I had my Season 2 base right here in this valley. And I got to say, it looks so incredibly different when uh, it's not, like, bare out because I've cleared everything through. Um, but, yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and head into the cave. All right. Mm. Pretty easy cave to, to actually go through here. Um, it's fairly empty for like the first half, I would say. Don't actually start seeing mobs till we turn this right corner here and they either head left or right. Um, I think I'm going to fly around this way just to see if there's any drops. Sometimes there's a drop right around this area. Oh, sometimes there's even Titan Boa eggs, which is always a good thing to try and find as well. But... Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't see any Titan Boa eggs. Not offhand. I'd love to see some Titan Boa eggs, but probably won't. Not today. But we just fall, fly here to the back of the cave. And here we are. There's the artifact. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? And this is the artifact of the hunter. Now, this is one I already had. But that's no big deal, you know. We can always grab more of stuff that we already have. 
And then I'm going to continue along this way. Now I'm going to go back out another direction. And this one's, like I said, pretty simple because of the fact that you don't really have to fight anything. Uh, sometimes there's a drop in the water over one of these. Oh, I didn't mean to hit C. I meant to hit X and stop here for a second. I don't see a drop in the water there. And so come up here along this side. Sometimes there's a drop right there. Then other times there's a drop right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and clear out the riffraff here. Do it. Do it. I see a 120 something in there. I don't know what it is. Uh, scorpion? Not bad, not bad. All right, two more right there. Okay, now I should be able to get off with no problem and check out a ramshackle Parasur saddle blueprint. Not bad, not bad. All right, time to head on out and head to the next cave. The next one is not actually that far from here, but I always lose where it's at. But uh, I'm getting a little bit better. There's a level eight turtle in here. That's weird. Don't think I've ever seen that. All right, guys, so cave number four is the one that I always lose. I know it's somewhere back here. Oh, is it right here? Yeah, all right, cave number four. This is one that you can actually get an Argentavis in, uh, which makes it super, super simple, but you can also get turned around really easily in this cave. So this is usually the cave, if I'm gonna go hunting for dung beetles or anything, this is the one I'll do it in, but uh, it's it's a little bit of a maze, this cave, at least in my opinion. So we come down here. It's pretty simple so far. All right, head this way, and now you're going to go straight down and head for this little cave back here. There are onyx in this cave. Oh, look, dung beetle right there. Can you pick them up with a pteranodon? I don't think you can. All right, come through here. Then we're going to go down and through this cave here. And then just this way. Now, this is the weird part. If you're not careful, you could get lost. Kind of continue our way all the way down here. And then right over here, you'll see this purple glow. And it's like a little, like a little hood almost. Just come up back there. And you're right at the artifact. And this one is the artifact of the pack, which is one we have not actually had yet. So we've got, technically, we've got six artifacts right now. Um, I think we've got a few more caves at least. I don't know, a couple more. But there's water back there that you can go through or you can just, like I said, come back out here, fly down, and uh, head on out of the cave, which is what I'm going to do here up and out uh every once in a while i go uh oh uh oh some weird stuff with the cave again very weird stuff with the cave again holy mackerel um that freaks me out every time that happens and it's happened a couple of times when i go into the caves and i don't know entirely what causes it but it kind of makes me want to fly out or uh, to walk out, or at least not fly holding shift. Let's go this way. Let's come up here to the very, 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 very top of that large open cave. Go through here, head to the right. There's going to be another opening. Yep, straight up and out. And then the exit is going to be think over here some more right around I always get turned around because the the walls in this place look very similar yeah here it is all right now we're out and on to the next cave all right guys cave number five I think on our list today uh, is what uh, some of us have deemed the chitin cave and Slip's got a nice little area set up here because normally you take like a, a saber tooth in here or something and go through and try and, you know, get as much chitin as you can uh, for cementing based. But today we're not here for the chitin. 
We are here for the artifact. Holy mackerel. Oh, jeez. Lots more stuff in here than I expected. Aranios, Onik, all the bad things in the world. Holy cow. Attack them all. I killed the dung beetle. I killed the dung beetle. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Onik down. Got one more to go. All right, Pulmino Scorpio is down. No problem. Nobody panicked, right? You didn't panic. I didn't panic. All right, come down here. Hang a right. And zoom. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay, lots of things. Lots of things. All the things again, once again. This one I expected. I did not expect the first batch, though. Okay. I'm going to try and get a little away here. Oh, there's Titan Boas right there. Why can't I do the spinny move? Why can't I do the spinny move? Get rid of the stuff in your inventory. Oh, jeez. This is not good. This is not good. Spinny move. Yeah, all right. Spinny moves got us covered. Oh, man. I am so disoriented in this cave right now. All right, level 68 Onik. Doesn't stand a chance. Okay, I'm still looking for Titan Boa eggs if we can. But I don't think we're going to find any in here. All right, come down through here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, heal up here. No problem. Right, there we go. And one more, and we are healed. We are healed. We are healed. We are really, really healed. Alright, now come down. Uh I'm gonna ignore that guy. Ooh, a couple of dung beetles right there. Come around this way, come in this way. We got some Aranios, we got some Titan Boas, we've got some Onic. Got the whole motley crew in here. Apparently there's a Pullman of Scorpius that I never saw. It's alright, it's alright. Onyx down. Can he even go... Oh man, that is... That is weird looking. I've never seen that before. Like, never, ever, ever. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm off the bird. I'm off the bird. Oh, get up, get get up here, get up here on this ledge. All right, all right. So make sure you're whistle neutral. Okay, let's grab the artifact. That's the artifact of the clever. That's what I have already. Come over here to me, buddy. All right, and we are out of here. Very, very nice. Um, let's get back around here. Go up, up, and away. Oh, man. This guy is... Topor is doing crazy. Not doing that hot, actually. Uh, so we might be having a bad day here in a second. Unless that Topor starts to go down. Might even have to gather some stems. But I want to get out of here quick before that becomes a problem. Because if this guy gets stuck in the cave... That's a bummer. But here we are. Gonna hang a left here and up, up, and out. And we got one cave left. All right, guys. Our final cave of the episode is gonna be the one right down over here. Now, this is one that I can't run with a dime or a, a, a pteranodon. Uh, this is one that I have to run on foot. My cat has his paw stuck in the curtain. He got out. He escaped. Um, <laughs> oh, my curtains have holes in them. Anyway, this is not one that you could run with a Pteranodon. I don't think you can get any dinos in this cave, so I'm kind of hoping that it won't be that big of a deal. My armor is doing fairly good. I've got a good um, ramshackle pike on me. It's no biggie. No biggie at all. Now, where is that outpost? I think it's still a little ways in. It's kind of nice, though. I'm not even cold, and it's 29 degrees. Oh, I'm cold. I'm not shivering. Oh, yes. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Wooly Rhino. Check that guy out. 
What's up, buddy? Level 16? Nice. I love the woolly rhinos. I think I'm going to have to go and tame myself a couple more woolly rhinos um, before, you know, before too long. All right. So we come right here. We land. We go ahead and park you. And then we're going to go ahead and head in here. Now, it did get dark. Uh, is it going to lighten up? Gamma 4? No, they've changed the way the lighting in these caves work, I think. I used to be able to hear a little bit. Alright, there's two Onik. Okay. They've tranked me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay. Run out, run out. Too many of them. All right, we just take this smart. That's a 112. That guy's a beast. Keep going, keep going. Man, these things are creepy looking. All right, all right. There's a couple. Are they coming back at all? All right, we got that one. Here's the Uranio. All right, that's good, that's good. Okay, now we come in through here. And then there's another Uranio, level 44. Uh-uh, not too close, not too close here. How come you can hit me, but I can't hit you? There we go. All right, level 12 is down. Level 56. All right, that one's down. And get him, get him, get him. Level 96. All right, all right. That's good. That's good. Got all these guys away. I'm trying to find my way here. I don't think I need to go that way. I think I actually need to go this way. Man, I don't remember there being this many bugs in this cave. I'll tell you what. There sure is. There sure is. All right. Let's come through here. There's an Aranio right there. This is not the correct way to be. All right. Kill the kill the bat. Kill the Onik. We're good. We're good. Okay. Go through here. I think this is the right way to be. Level 8, level 56. Okay, is it through here? No, that's a drop. Man, I get so... This is another one that I get very, very, very turned around in. Take out the level 8 before the other one sees me. Get some shots in on it. It looks like it's stuck, so that's good. All right, so here we go. Back up through here, maybe? I think so. I think this is it. Yes, it is. Perfect. Get in there. We get the Sky Lord. It's taken care of. I'm going to write that down on my list. Sky Lord. And that is, that is seven. So the only artifact at this point that I am missing is the one from the snow cave. Now, I might try and meet up with BTC in the future and see if he can run me through that cave. Because uh, I, don't, I don't think I could do it alone and I don't have any dinos in there to be able to assist me in that. So uh, definitely think that it might be something that I need his help with because I know he's got that whole setup in there. 
Um, unless I were to bring an egg in there or something, I could probably do it. Uh, but yeah, all right. That's going to be it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode where we'll start working on this big project that I needed all these artifacts for. Have a good one, guys.